and welcome back to Newswatch. I'm Pamela Cowan. And I'm Joel Walters. Firefighters have finally managed to put out last night's fire on Lamar Avenue, which destroyed Cedar Creek Elementary School. Authorities say the fire was on purpose and was not accidental. This would make Cedar Creek Elementary the third case of arson in the last six weeks within city limits. Police officials have said that they believe the fires are all connected, but so far, no arrests have been made. Mayor Robert Johnson has come under fire in recent weeks as allegations have surfaced that he's embezzled taxpayer money for his own private purposes. The allegations go on to claim that the mayor used the money on a brand new SUV as well as expanding his own private library. We toss it out to our field interviewer, Samantha Stevenson, who has more. Thanks, Pam. I'm here inside City Hall where Mayor Johnson and the Chief of Police are meeting. As you said, the recent political scandal surrounding Mayor Johnson has swept over the city. Several citizens have cried out and demanded that the mayor give his resignation, although as of right now, the mayor has not given any sign of doing so. There's the mayor and the chief now. Mayor, Ma I'll have Mr. No mayor. Time. It's okay. I'll talk. Mr. Mayor, are the recent allegations against you true? The allegations are not true. An investigation is currently underway to see where these heinous accusations have arisen. Someone is solely trying to hurt my reputation in this election year. So does this mean that you will not be resigning? Absolutely not. I love my job, and I'm not going anywhere. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh my gosh! The marriage has been shot! Johnny Depp? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Uh, no, but your friend isn't too bad looking. We're just friends. Yeah, okay. The way he's checking out totally screams friends. He's checking me out? <laughs> Has he asked you out yet? <laughs> good morning, Eric. Oh, good morning, sir. How are you doing today? Tired, but it's the morning. Mm, not much of an early bird, huh? Would you like the usual today? Yes, please. All right, I'll be right back. Hey, uh, Seren. Yes? Are you doing anything Friday? Why? Well, uh, there's this new movie coming out, and I was wondering if maybe you'd like to see it with me? That sounds good. All right, I'll see you then.
Here you go. Thanks. One <laughs> cup of tea for you, and a cup of joe for me. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good. So, uh, I didn't know you were a tea drinker. Yeah, it helps calm me down. Oh, yeah? I need something with a little more kick in it, especially for those long night shifts. Being a cat must take a lot out of you. Well, it can, but it doesn't really bother me. I get to meet a lot of... <laughs> interesting people. So, what made you want to join the force? Hmm, well, my dad, he was, uh, he was a cop growing up. I think that's, that's really how I first got interested in it. Does he still work around here? No, he was killed when I was just a kid. I'm so sorry. That's all right. Uh, you didn't know. What about you? How about your family? Actually, I was an orphan. I didn't know that. Yep, stuck in the system. Well, how'd you end up out here? I started going to school here, but that didn't last long. Oh yeah? Just get too expensive or didn't like it? Um, so do you still have family around here? Yeah, my mom, she still lives around here. And uh, my brother, he's, I mean, he's around. Is he a cop too? No, he, uh, <laughs> he's in jail, actually. Yeah, he got busted for drugs a while ago. I'm so sorry. Oh, hey, that's all right. Here, here let me I'm get I'm so that. sorry. You know what? I'm going to need to get a rag. I'll be right back. Okay. How's it going out there? Hmm? Oh, sorry, I'm tired. It's okay. Are you still having nightmares? What about the drugs? You've got to be careful, I mean. What if you start mixing them? It's dangerous. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Nothing else helps. Have you tried therapy? I can't afford that. I'm barely able to scrounge up enough money for college. Well, there's a couple counselors at my church. They'd be cheaper at least. Serenity, the doctor will see you now.
please make yourself comfortable. Doctor will be in shortly. Welcome, madam. I'm Dr. Bradley Tyson, and it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Serenity. Serenity. What an elegant name. Oh, don't pay any attention to him. He's part of the decor. Now, tell me, my dear, are you comfortable? Miss Serenity. Um, you can call me Seren. Most people do. <laughs> you, um, seem very fidgety. Is this your first time at counseling? Actually, yes. I can't really afford something like this. Oh, I understand. And we'll discuss pricing later. But tell me, Miss Seren, what brought you here today? I have a little bit of a drug addiction. And I've had it for a while now. And I just really need it to stop. These drugs, are they prescription or a creation? Prescription. I've dealt with a number of cases like yours before and my patients have responded very well to my treatments. Uh, and you know, Ms. Seren, since you already recognize that you have a problem, my methods will help you. I hope so. But the money... Shouldn't be a concern, Seren. Uh, as a matter of fact, since you're on the road to recovery, well, Take my prices and cut them. I'll cut them in half. I mean, you seem like a bright young lady, and I do want to help you. And isn't isn't your health more than money? Wow. Um, thanks, Dr. Tyson. What do we do next? Well, my methods, while not unknown to most practices are not common. How are your methods different? Well, I use an alternative state of mind to access my patient's subconscious. It seems to clear the cobwebs and get to the root of the problem. Translation? <laughs> I use hypnotherapy to help solve my patients' problems. Seren, I, I assure you, Seren, it's quite safe. Seren, would you like me to give you a sample of what it's like? Well, I'll try it. What are we looking at here, Chief? You know that assassin that uh, we... Chief? Hey, Sergeant, how are you? That assassin that we caught last week. Yeah. Found her up. <clears throat> they found her killed over in her cell. How? She killed herself? I ain't got a clue. I decided to grab a nice chicken set sandwich. There's really nothing quite like a taste of two chicken slices and some lettuce and a juice. Just give it a little down. All right. 
Vic's name is Sarah Kruger. She is 42. She's divorced. And she's got a wicked sweet tattoo on her rose right here on her shoulder blade. Coolest thing you've ever seen. So what's the cause of death? Ah, this is where it gets exciting. She was actually poisoned. Poisoned? How? Well, she ingested some and there was some on her. But if you ask me, it was an inside job. In my station? I'm just saying it's a possibility. I saw this movie one time, and throughout the whole thing, it was making this guy turn out like he was a god character. And it builds it up, and he was looking real good throughout the thing, and then... Was that the all end, you found? Well, no. In the end, he was actually the bad guy. Eh? With the body. Right. Uh, no. We found traces of saccharin in her bloodstream. Quite a lot of it, actually. Yeah, she must have been popping pills for... Quite a while. So what is a porphin? Is that the new high? Not exactly. It's not even recreational, really. It's more of a uh, mind-numbing drug. Where would she get something like that? Uh, it's hard to say. If she had a basic understanding of chemistry, she could have made it herself for all we know. She's not the only one with support, and there was other bodies that were found with it as well. It's true. Thank you, Proud. Yes, sir. Want some? Oh, hey. Hey. So what were you saying about therapy? Oh, just that it's going okay. Dr. Tyson seems pretty nice. Yeah, he sounds nice. So, you thinking about going back? Well, I don't know. He's all charming, but... But... But he's kind of like a hypnotist. He hypnotizes his patients? He says he does it because it helps the patients open up and they can dig down deeper to the root of the problem. I looked it up. It's common. <laughs> Still, are you sure you want to be hypnotized? You let him? He said he was just trying to help me out. I was just trying it. And? And it's weird. Like, I know what's going on, but some of the things that I remember, they're kind of fuzzy and weird. Well, I don't think you should... Oh, oh hey, Eric. What's up? Oh, you can't. No, I understand. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Everything okay? Eric called to cancel at night. He says he's working on a hard case. I'm sorry. I don't know. Just what if he doesn't want to go out with me? <laughs> don't say that. But what if it's the truth? You know what happened on our first date. Yeah, and that stuff happens. He's probably just working hard. I've got to go back. What? I gotta go back for another session. Well, what about the counselor I told you about? No, it has to be Tyson. I gotta finish this. Okay, well, I mean, I'm not big on hypnotism, but... I don't care. I've gotta go back. I can't spend the rest of my life worrying about the past. I have to finish this. Okay, that's what you think is best. So how are you feeling, Serenity? Fine, Dr. Tyson. Tell me, how long 
have you been taking the pills? Four months. Both of them? No. The sleeping pills first. Then the painkillers. Why the sleeping pills? Insomnia? Nightmares. Tell me about those dreams. Serenity, if I'm going to help you, you have to trust me. A drug bust. So, you were arrested? One year ago. I was with my friends. They were dealing. I wasn't. But I still took the drugs. The cops caught us. I went to jail for a few months. I see. So now you take the pills to stop the pain. Yes. Serenity, the drugs are just a symptom of your condition. You are afraid of something. Now, I want you to tell me about it. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid, afraid that I can't escape. I can't go back. I see. Serenity, you've responded very well to your therapy. I'll admit it's, it's not so bad. really isn't. Now obviously, our first concern is your addiction to the drugs. And forgoing the pills too quickly is not good. Therefore, I'd like for you to stop taking those pills. To start taking these. What is it? Medication designed for addiction. It's to cleanse the system of the drugs and to stop the craving for them. I don't know. If I'm. I shouldn't. I'm. Serenity. I... Do you trust me? Excellent. Excellent.
Hold it. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, man. Hey, 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 easy there, buckaroo. Who are you? Me, I'm from down the hall. Hey, hey, mum's the word. Can't say I blame you, really. This lady's got some nice stuff. I'm not a burglar. Oh, well, I didn't think so, anyway. Hey, did you take Paradis? Wreck Ale? Oh, that's the one with Arnold. This lady really needs to lock her doors. The old creep can just walk in here and take what they can get. So, you knew Miss Kruger well? Eh, sorta. She's never nice to me. But she's left me alone since you started seeing that shrink. A shrink, huh? Well, yeah, we hear about her talking about that crackpot all the time. She goes to him frequently. Gotta keep an eye on the neighbors, you know? So, these must be her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there and there. Those are her appointments. You don't happen to know who she was seeing, do you? There's nowhere else this can stop. How about not getting addicted to something else? I, I won't get addicted. Tyson said I couldn't. He doesn't know everything. Get a second opinion. Come to my church. There are people there that... No! Well, at least take a couple days off and get back on your feet. Okay. And tell Eric. What? I know you haven't told him. But what if he... He won't. I promise. Hello? Hi, Eric. How are you? Oh, I'm just good. How about you? I'm okay. Um, listen. Can we talk for a second? Uh, now's not a good time, actually. How about tonight? We haven't been out in a while. Um, Okay, sounds good. Alright, I'll see you then. Okay, bye.
doctor will see you now. Dicer. My name is Tyson. Dr. Bradley Tyson. Uh, Noah. Noah Schutzke. Nice to meet you. No. The pleasure is mine. Have a seat. Thanks, Doc. So, Noah, what brings you here today? Well, Doc, to be honest with you, I don't really want to be here. Yeah. Really? Yeah, the uh, the missus, she sent me down, thinks I have a problem. And you don't think you have one? Nah. I mean, a guy's entitled to smoke a butt now and then, am I right? But Mrs. Shitsky doesn't approve of your pastime. Exactly. I'm sorry, Noah. I'm not going to be able to help you. Come again? Addictions are not my strong field. I prefer to do you more with counsel than rehabilitation. This is the man you need to see. Appreciate the help, Doc. No problem, Noah. Have a nice day. Oh, hey, Eric. Sorry I'm late. Oh, hey, Saran. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh, no, that's no problem. Let me get that for you. Thanks. <laughs> So, how's it going? It's been a bit of a rough day. Yeah? Yeah. Me too, actually. Yeah, this case that I'm working on is really, it's really getting on my nerves. Well, it's always good to have a break. That's right, especially with you. <laughs> Hello. Um, one iced tea, one ginger ale. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, are you guys ready to order, or should we wait a few more minutes? Uh, better give us a few more minutes. All right, I'll be right back with you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You remember that I like tea. Oh, I remember these things. <laughs> so, tell me about your day. So what did you think about that movie we saw the other night? Harley makes a movie? Yeah. It was interesting. <laughs> I don't know, really. Yeah, that, uh, that villain, Xander. What a freakishly tall human being, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was kind of out there. <laughs> Mm. Mm. So thanks for taking me out on such short notice tonight. Oh, anytime, Saran. You all right? Actually, um, I need to tell you something. Okay. So, you know, I've had some problems for a while now. And I've been going to see this, this guy, Dr. Tyson. And Tyson? Dr. Bradley Tyson? Yeah. He's a therapist. And he's a, ah, oh, again. You know, this is becoming a habit with you.
chlorophyll. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. Why are you taking these? Look, don't don't listen to that whack job. I'm telling you, that guy is using you, Saren. And I'm telling you. He's not crazy. You have no idea. He's helping me. Look, Saren, I know you think he's helping you, but he's not. I've been investigating that guy. You, you don't understand. Kind of you don't know what's going on. And if you don't like it, then fine. Saren. Come on, Saren. Tyson, I really need your help. Everything feels like it's falling apart. I don't know what to, I don't know what else to do. Please. Now, Siren, take a deep breath. Slow down. Now, tell me what's going on. The nightmares are getting worse. I can't sleep. And to top it off, last night was one of the worst nights of my life. It's okay, Serenity. It's okay. It's okay. Thanks. <sighs> Serenity, I'm sorry about your restlessness. Apparently your body hasn't adapted to like the pills that it's been receiving. Now, you have been taking the pills I gave you. Correct? Yes, I have. Excellent. Now, let's begin. Now, close your eyes. Focus on the sound of the metronome. Okay? Now, open your eyes and watch the pendulum. Relax, serenity. Let yourself Now, tell me about last night. I had an argument with Eric. Eric, tell me about him. We've been friends for a few months now. He's handsome, funny, kind. He's a workaholic though. So, what's his occupation? He's a cop. Do, uh, do you have a picture of him? Yes. In my purse. He was telling me that you're crazy. 
not to see you. Tell me more about Eric. You got a hard case on your hands. How'd you hear about that? You're following the wrong lead. Tyson's got nothing to do with your case. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just walk away. And as an apology, you're gonna let Tyson know about any more of those deaths that come up. What if I'm not sorry? You will be once your girlfriend becomes one of those deaths. So? Hello? Wow. What a pleasant surprise. How do you do, Eric? Or do you prefer Noah? It's Eric. Yeah, I'd hand the phone to your dog. He's a little busy sucking pavement right now. Can I take a message? How colorful. You do have quite the way with words. I gotta ask you something, Doc. You have something against cops or what? Of course not. Just detectives that dig a little too far into my plans. And what plans might those be? I won't bore you with the details, but as you and I both know, the government's been running rampant with power and corruption far too long. All I'm doing is bringing a little weight to bear to balance the scale. So how do you plan to bring about all this balance, anyway? A little anarchy goes a long way, detective. You see, I refuse to be a docile slave to the system like you are. All I'm doing is tearing it down one brick at a time. And, whoa! Pretty soon it'll collapse upon itself. So what do you get out of all this? I'm a man of simple taste, Eric. A little chaos, a little nihilism to keep the world running smoothly. But I digress. I need to see you for another session. You see, I have a certain patient that would like to meet you. You touch her, and I'll- Oh, I know, I know. You'll declare vengeance until I'm caught, and all that <laughs> hush posh. Final word. You come here alone. And I do have a lot of patience, Eric. So I suggest you leave your fellow officers behind, or else. Hello, Eric. 
Eric. What have you done with Seren? Ooh. Why don't you ask her yourself? Seren, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Whoops! I wouldn't bother. She's heavily sedated. Now, Eric, I suggest you ditch the gun. One. Two. <laughs> Good boy, Aaron. Now, Aaron, slowly give the gun to me. Slowly. Can't you see what's going on? He's using you. He's helping me. Can't you see what he's doing to you? I'm helping you, Saran. He doesn't even understand you. He doesn't even care about you. Why should he? You're just another druggie to him. It doesn't matter. Whatever you've done, it doesn't matter. Right here. Right now, this is what matters. Seren, I need you to make the right choice. You'll never get away with this. Of course I will. Druggies die every day. You'll never! letting Seren stay here the last few nights. I know she really appreciates having somebody else around. Yeah. Any way I can help. I mean, it's crazy. Tell me about it. Are you going to be all right? Oh, I'll be fine. They got me on some pretty good painkillers right now, but it's nothing. I'm, I'm more concerned about her, you know. I can't imagine what she's been through. Yeah, 
I'll keep her here until things settle down. I appreciate that. I'll come by as often as I can and check up on her. Is her tea ready? You know, probably it is. Yeah, I'll go take it to her. Okay. Resident has been arrested for breaking and entering into his own neighbor's apartment. Police have not released the name of the suspect, but have said that over 2,000 stolen DVDs were found in the suspect's apartment, along with 43 pounds of sugar. New developments have occurred in the death of hypnotherapist Dr. Bradley Tyson. Tyson, age 57, was shot dead this past Tuesday night. Tyson has been under investigation by police authorities and is believed to be connected in the shooting of Mayor Johnson. More of this tonight at 6.